Jai Shri Ram, welcome to Astrology with Abhilasha. Today, I'm making a video on Varnar Lagna. And I know many of you must have heard about it. But we are taking a different uh, perspective about Varnar Lagna and your spouse and your marriage, the condition of your marriage and Varnar Lagna to be very specific. How you can easily decode what would be the condition of your marriage from this particular point of horoscope? Now, as I already told you, many of you must have heard about this and you must have heard about this in context of uh, timing out or taking out the occupation of a person, also longevity. Because, um, People who have talked about Varnad Lagna previously have associated it with Varn, Chatush Varn, that is Kshatriya, Brahmin, etc. But I beg to differ. In my research and practicing on chart and a bit of understanding of Sanskrit, which I have due to my mother being a Sanskrit professor, is that we, when we talk about one another, we should understand that is, it is composite of two words, that is one and the. Now pronunciation is a very tricky part. We can also pronounce it as one, which would imply the Chatush one concept, but rather we can also pronounce it as varan, which is accepting, varan, or imbibing, all right? So I'm taking the latter part, which I've seen working much better. And it is very helpful to just pinpointly decode and dissect the condition of marriage of a person. Now, while talking about Sanskrit, in the Prakrit system, we associate Varna to the word Vana, which also means a partner, which actually implies very clearly that it is talking about the marriage. It is also associated with women. So again, marriage. Now, Varna the, is also uh, translated as your tribe, your clan. So many have associated it with, again, the Chatushwarn, the Brahmin, Kshatriyas, etc. But when does a person, I ask you, when does a person actually get his or her tribe, his or her clan? One is after birth, the family you're born in, and the other is when a person gets married. That is when the person truly gets his or her tribe. So it is again indicative to use this Varnad Lagna in association to decode marriage. All right. Now Varnada is also associated to coloring and particularly the yellow and saffron color, which is again associated with the religious ceremonies of marriage, which is uh, practiced throughout Hinduism, all right? So that is the reason why I am taking Varnad Lagna to decode the condition of marriage rather than using it for occupation, etc. So it is very simple. You can go to Jehora. Let me share the screen and uh, so here, as you can see in this chart, uh, this is the chart of Tiger Woods. He's a famous player. And here we will analyze his Varnad Lagna and the condition of his marriage and his attitude towards his marriage. So here, uh, as you can see, the Varnad Lagna is falling into Libra. In the chart, Libra is afflicted by the presence of Rahu. The Lord of 
Libra, Venus is associated with a debilitated moon. So this person was involved into multiple affairs and he could not keep the sanctity of marriage, which is very clearly depicted by the affliction and effect of Rahu on Varnat Lagna, which give all these tendencies of cheating or not keeping the sanctity of marriage. All right, so he had to face a lot of upheaval because he was married and then he ended up into multiple affairs. So this uh, condition of the Varnada Lagna is very clearly proving the point that this Lagna is very well used to clearly depict the condition of marriage in a child. In spite of Jupiter in the 12th house, sorry, in the sign of Pisces in the 7th house itself, which many people would say is a nice combination for keeping the sanctity of marriage. But sorry to say, this was not the case. All right. Now let's move on to some other chart. Mm, let's take the chart of Mr. Depp, Johnny Depp. Uh, his Varnat Lagna is falling into Aquarius, which is very clearly expected by Mars. The Lord of Varnat Lagna is itself 212 and also retrograde, with itself depicts multiple relations and marriages also. Uh, because uh, as we have previ previously also described uh, that retrogression, exaltation, etc. depict multiplicity in whichever sphere it is connected. So here it is connected to the sphere of marriage, multiplicity, Saturn, that is uh, again giving some melancholy, and expect, expected by mass, again, fights and turbulences, very clearly depicted. Otherwise, again, in this chart, somebody could have easily said that uh, the seventh Lord is in own Rashi, the marriage will be good. But if you learn with Shubham and you also happen to see our videos, we clearly say that if the seventh Lord is in a strong position that it is exalted, retrograde, Swarashi, Mutrikona, it generally gives multiple marriages. So that is a different case that we could analyze it that way also, but generally people would say that. Now let's take uh, some other chart. Mm. Okay, in this chart, again, the Varnat Lagna is falling into Cancer. Again, in the Ketu Rahu axis. So, that is, again, the same case. It is not very conducive. But uh, there is a saving grace that the Lord of uh, the Varnat Lagna is in a safe position, all right? So it is not that fatal, but still uh, the respect, uh, the happiness in marriage is not uh, very clearly seen. It could be on the pretext of job, etc. as the Varnad Lagna is falling in the sign of Capricorn. This also shows that there is a lot of uh, pending karma associated with the marriage of this person. Okay, that is the attribute of sign which we can allocate. So now the Varnad Lagna of uh, this chart, which is the chart of Mr. Bill Gates, 
is falling in two Pisces, the 10th house, moon is there. Again, expected by Mars and there is an opposition of Mercury and moon and we all know that this doesn't hold up a very good position. The opposition of moon, Mars and Mercury, though people say that opposition of moon and Mars or combination of moon and Mars give you Lakshmi yoga, but it is also seen that this creates a lot of mental disturbances. And uh, as we can see, uh, the Lord of uh, Varnad Lagna is again in the bad house from itself that is six eight connection it is making so one thing is very clear if Varnad Lagna is falling in six eight twelve it is not good even if it is falling in good houses there is a saving grace but then we have to see the negative influence of it if there are a lot of negative influence if the Lord of Varnad Lagna is sitting in 212 position to Varnad Lagna itself then it is very bad and if uh, there is an aspect of malefic planet then also the condition of marriage will not be very good. Your attitude towards marriage will not be appreciated. How the other family accepts you, your in-laws accepts you, uh, is also very clearly visible through Varnad Lagna. All right. Your status in your spouse's family is very clearly depicted by this Varnad Lagna. So if you have uh, influence of Jupiter on your Varnad Lagna, then you can be rest assured that uh, your in-laws uh, think of you as a very knowledgeable person. If in your Varnad Lagna you have an exalted planet or the Lord of Varnad Lagna is itself exalted, again, you have a very good say and position in your married life and also in your spouses, in your spouse family. Okay. So that is all and I hope you'll apply this technique and you can, uh, by using this, judge that if you are going to make somebody a partner, what could be his or her take towards marriage after seeing their Varnad Lagna and the afflictions over it and you can check it for yourself as well. What would be your position in marriage? So this is one thing which you should check. And it has given me good results throughout. And I'm sure it will give you accurate results as well. So that is all from my side. Jai Shri Ram.